Imani shimwe ko ngiye kuduha gakanya gusa ngo God for giving us this time ngiye kongiye kwiyegereza abashitsi badusuye once again we come our visitors niba subira uh, aho baturutse bazaba duhera intashi when you go back to where you come from give uh, give the greetings so hati nzereka dufungure bibilia zacu without laying let, let us open our bibles turebe urwandiko rwa yuda and read a piece of Jude, umurongo wa munani verse 8 urwandiko rwa yuda umurongo wa munani the piece of Jude, verse 8 the consomme let us read uko niko nababandi babarosi bonona imibiri yabo bagasuzugura gutegekwa bagatuka abanyacuba hiyo verse 8 Yet in like manner, these people also, relying on their dreams, defile the flesh, reject authority, and blaspheme the glorious ones. Let us pray. We take a man of the truth. 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 Tulichira bugufi kukunha gara magambo ya mahimbano. Ariko, tulabizi neza yuko gatu tutashowara kulijiha ukutuwa alitinya kose. Yonghamvu, tulimbele yugu utubugawe. Tugusaba kujirango ugogu utubugawe. Ukomeze kukuhudu hanguko utunzi. Mgabu kuhuri kuriwowe. Uduhe kujirango muriti jihimami. Tunimo tulareba muriri jambo rya tujiye kwiga dufungura amaso tubone ibyo ushaka kutwigisha Nami haru buryo iyo twize jambo ryawe dutekereza yuko wagira ngo rubundi bwenge twungutse aho kugira ngo rize kuba koko ikintu kiza gusenya no kubaka mu mitima yacu turakwinginze kugira ngo nkirize kuba ikindi kintu none huyu munsi twogiye kumenya the head knowledge no gutura kwinginze kugira ngo kize kuba ari ikintu kiri buze gutuma mwami turi paintinga kize gutuma mwami tugukunda kurushaho kize gutuma tukumenya kurushaho kandi kize gutuma tukubera ko ndetse tukuramya kurushaho ibyo ngibyo ni wewe nyiri ushobora kubikora ariko nanone kize kuba nanone ari ikintu kiducyaha gituma twongera kwizirukwa no kuzirukwa mwami ibyaha byacu ubwo tukagukurikira kandi ibyo ngibyo ni we wenyine ubikoresha ijambo ryawe iyo mpamvu tukwinginze kugira ngo twese nkuko turahangaha dutegeye mwami ibituruka mu kiganza cyawe kugira ngo biduhere bakwinginze kugira ngo biduhere izina rya Yesu Kristo amen dukomeje kwiga ku rwandi ko rwanditswe na Yuda we are continuing to study the piece of Jude we saw many things. Ariko, we are from a, a, a part that is made of three verses. Verses from verse 5 to verse 7. We saw three main things. Ariko, ibyo bitatu byose byavugaga ingero eshatu zo kurimbuka kw'ababaye akaherwe. Uh, all those uh, three verses, it, it contains three examples of people who were destroyed because they are apostates. On verse 5, we saw the destruction of the apostate Israel. On verse 6, we saw the apostate angels. On verse 7, and on verse 7, we saw the destruction of the apostate uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them. Today we are going to study on verse 8. So which, begin, which precedes three uh, verses. Verses uh, 9 up to verse 11. Which describes the characteristics of the apostates. Which uh, we are studying in this episode. 
uyu munsi turaza kurera ibyo ngibyo biranga abo bantu we are going to see what characterize these apostates ibyo ari ibyo what are they ubutaha tuzaje na none tubirambura turera iyo mibereho mu buryo burambuye uko iyo mirongo izaje ikurikirana so next time we are going to go in details as the verses follow each other tujiye kuri uriya murongo wa munani twasomye going back to verse 8 we read haravuga ngo uko niko nababandi babarose bonona imibiri yabo bagasuzugura gutegekwa bagatuka abanyacubaniro yet in like manner these people also relying on their dreams defy the flesh reject authority and blaspheme the glorious ones uyu murongo utangira uvuga ngo uko niko this verse starts yet in like manner icho bahayuda ari ari kugaragaza what Jude is uh, demonstrating here no ko hari ihuriro rya Israeli rya bamarayika rya Sodomu ni Gomora ndetse naba baba ya pahege bari mitorero Jude want to demonstrate that there is a, a similarity between uh, Israelites uh, uh, angels and also Sodom and Gomora who were apostates so gambere akoresheje ijambo it is not the first time he uses this word mururwandi in this episode Koko niryo anakoresha atangira ku murongo wa 7 because it is the same word he uses when he is starting verse 7 agaragaza ko hari ihuriro ry'icyaha cy'abamarayika n'icyaha cy'abitondo muri Gomora stating the similarity of the sin of Sodom and Gomora and the sin of angels naho akoresha iryo jambo like why is cyangwa just as cyangwa in the same manner he use the same uh, the very word in like in like manner likewise Aha naho yonde arimo arashaka guhuza ibiranga kamere yabaraye afahebye cera ya Jude is trying to demonstrate the character, what characterize the apostate back then arimo bavuga haruguru mu mirongo twabonye itatu which are described in the previous verses agashaka kubihuza nanone nibiranga kamere yabaraye afahebye uyu munsi bari mwitorero also uh, comparing it with uh, what characterize the postates in our day in, in our in our today time arashaka kwerekana yuko uburyo nyina arashaka kwerekana uburyo nta tandukaniro riri hagati yabo you want to, to show that there is, a, there is no difference between the postates of the earlier time and the postates of these days ureka kuvuga iryo jambo iryo kuriro ngo uko niko not only saying that yet in like manner yuda ahita akomeza ho ijambo avuga ngo nabarandi you Jude, uh, continue saying these people also ese barandi bavuganda hari barandi him saying these people also who are these people these people aba bantu bavuga ni bamwe bavuga nubundi ku murongo wa kane this word these people they are the very people that they are they are, they are, they are describing on verse 4 kuko ku murongo wa kane hejo uravuga ngo kuko hari ho bamwe basese muri mwe rwihishwa bagenewe kera gucirwa nk'iteka n'abantu batubaha imana bahindura ubuntu bw'imana yacu biso nihe bakihakana Yesu Kristo ari we wenyine data muja no mwami wacu verse 4 for certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation and godly people who pervert the grace of our god into sensuality and deny our only master and lord jesus christ ariko nanone nyuma yo kuvuga ubwo urumba tumaze kumenya uko niko ariko tunamenye babandi abaribo ariko ahita komeza abo bantu ahita arita abarosi uh, he, uh, having said that in the like manner also mentioning these people also he continues saying these people are dreamers these apostates are dreamers how are they dreamers how, why does jude call them dreamers what does it mean for them to be dreamers this word a to dream rikoreshwa ahantu henshi mu isezerano rya kera it is used in many instances in the old testament ariko mu isezerano risha rivugwa mu byakozwe n'impumwa but in the new testament it is mentioned in the acts of the apostles rivuga inzozi which means a dream ibyakozwe n'impumwa kabiri 17 let us read uh, acts chapter 2 verse 17 haravuga ngo imana iravuze iti uko niko bizaba mu minsi y'imperuka nzasuka umwuka wanje ku bantu bose kandi abahungu n'abakobwa banyu bazahanura 
nabasore banyu bazerekwa nabakambwe babarimo bazarota Acts chapter 2 verse 17 and in the last days it shall be God declares that I will pour on out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and the old men shall dream dreams this is Peter who was saying, who was speaking on the day of Pentecost. He was repeating the words of, of your uh, prophet Joel. These very words of Peter are, are, are taken from Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 29. And they shall be saved. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and the old men shall dream dreams and the young men shall see visions every even on male and female servant in those days I will pour out my spirit uh, yeah, Joel is describing that God will bring all these dreams he was describing later because God was angry with these people and had taken away all these all these gifts. So Peter was describing that what they are seeing is what was prophesied by Joel. So Peter was telling them what you have not been seeing as gifts of the Holy Spirit God has just shown today as he has prophesied in the time of Joel. So this dreaming is not a, a usual dream that someone can have. You can find out that the big percentage of people here have dreamt last night. It is not that dream. But this dreaming that is mentioned is being revealed the what comes from God so that you can tell it to God's people. So this, this, this gift, even like other gifts, it was uh, in the first church of the first century. In the Old Testament, there is how God describes about this uh, gift, these dreams. God would give them to prophet, prophets. Uh, God used the word dreamers to, ma to mention uh, false teachers and false prophets. Uh, but I cannot skip the fact that we believe that these uh, revelatory gifts are not present currently. This uh, word dreamers is described in the Old Testament talking of false uh, apostles, false prophets. Arina yo context yuda alikuvujiramo which is uh, the context uh, Jude is saying Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 5 Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 
muri mwe ni haboneka umuhanuzi cyangwa umurose a dreamer umurose akakubwira ikimenyetso cyangwa igitangaza icyo kimenyetso cyangwa icyo gitangaza kigasohora bivuga ngo nyine kuba umuntu yakubwira ikintu kikabaho ntago bivuze ko giturutse ku mana e, satana arakora kigasohora icyo yakubwiye agira ati duhindukirire izindi mana izo utigeze umenya tuzikorere ni ngo kuvuga ngo ni kuvuga ngo niba anako icyo yara yakubwiye kikabaho mu gihe mu byukuri icyo kintu kigenzurishije ibyanditswe wasanga ibyanditswe bitakivuga cyangwa nanone na ubwe adafite kwizera kukuri ibyanditswe bivuga ubwo biba bitagacira ibyavuga ngo ntuzemere amagambo y'uwo muhanuzi cyangwa uwo murose kuko uwiteka imana yanyu iza izaba ibagerageza ngo imenye yuko mukundisha uwiteka imana yanyu imana yanyu imitima yanyu yose n'ubugingo bwanyu bwose ahubwo muje muyoborwa n'uwiteka muje muyoborwa n'uwiteka imana yanyu muyubahe mwitondera amategeko yayo muyumvire muyikorere muyifatanye muyifatanyeho akaramata uvuga ngo uyoborwe nyine n'ibyo bintu imana yahamisha akatanye ni byaritswe byera Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 1 to 5 If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder and a sign of the, or a wonder that tells he tells you come to pass and if he says let us go up to other gods which you have not known and let us serve them you shall not listen to the words of the, that prophet or that dreamer of dreams for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul you shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and we shall serve him and hold fast to him but that prof- that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has taught rebellion against the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of slavery to make you live the way in which the Lord your com- your God commanded you to walk aha havuga uburyo abarosi cyangwa abahanuzi bibinyoma babesha abantu bakanabeshera imana so here they describe how uh, the dreamers and false teachers Uh, they, 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 dece- they, they deceive people and then they, they, they talk things that God that did not talk rero ahayuda ari kuvuga ko bari abantu barayakahebwe therefore Jude is saying these people who became apostates ari abanyarinyoma they are false teachers na abantu baresha imana these people they deceive people they they they, they take the things God said in a wrong way bakavuga ngo imana yambiye they say god has told me cyangwa nabantu babesha abantu bakurikije ibihimbano byo mu mitwe yabo aho kwerekana icyo ibyanditswe byera bivuga so they tell people what is in, the, in their own minds instead of telling what god has told them nta buryo umuntu ashobora kukuyobya akubwira ibintu bitanditse mu byanditswe byera atakubwiye ko ari imana bimubwiye no kwishingikiriza autorite y'imana kugira ngo ibyo bintu by'ubihagaciro So there is no way someone can tell you something and then you accept unless they they take the authority of God so that you can accept what they are saying. Imana irana bivuga muri Yeremia 23:23 murongo wa 25 kugera kwa 28. Even God describes it in Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 25 to 28. Ngo numvise ibyo abahanuzi ba ibyo abahanuzi bavuze. Bahanurira ibinyoma mu izina ryanje ngo neretswe neretswe ibyo bizahereza he kuba mu mitima y'abahanuzi bahanura ibinyoma abahanuzi bahanura ibihimbano by'imitima yabo ibihimbano by'imitima yabo ibesha bigira inama yo kumpuza abantu banje izina ryanje barotorera umuntu wese mugenzi we ibyo beretswe mu nzozi nkuko basekuruza babo bahugijwe izina ryanje na bari Jeremiah 23:25 28 I have heard what prophets have said who prophesy lies in my name saying I have dreamed I have dreamed how long shall there be lies in the heart of prophets who prophesy lies and who prophesy the deceit of their own heart who think to make my people forget my name by their dreams and that they tell one another even as their fathers forgot my name for bad let the prophet who had a dream tell the dream but let him who has my word speak my word faithfully what has 
straw in common with wheat declares the lord this is the same as paul uh, describes in the new testament in colossians chapter 2 verse 18 havuga ngo ntihakagire umuntu ubavutsa ingororano zanyu azibavutishije kwihindura nkuwicisha bugufi no gusenga abamarayika akiterera mu byatazi atewe kwihimbarizwa ubusa no ubwenge bwa kamereye Uh, Colossians chapter 2 verse 18 let no one disqualify you insisting on ascetism and worship of angels going on in detail about visions puffed up without reason by his conscientious conscientious mind yeah nokuvuga ngo ni ibintu bijyanye na ibyo abantu bahimba bakitwaza imana rukuvuga ngo gufata ibintu byawe waranyize kongera akajambo k'imana imana yavuze cyangwa yabwiye byagize bite ariko ibyo bintu ari ibinyoma nta hantu imana yabikubwiriye kuko nta naho yari kubikubwirira hatandukanye n'ibyanditswe byera this is these are people who make up things and then they say god had told them yet god has only told us in the scriptures Yuda rero kuvuga bari abantu ko ari abarosi so Jude saying that these people are dreamers no kuvuga yuko ari abantu batita ku byanditswe byera these people are these people who ignore the ah. the, the, the word of god ahubwo bakayobya abantu so they deceive people mu byo kuri mu bushukanye bw'ibyo ubwabo bihimbiye so they deceive people with their, their delusion of what they have made up bakabesha yuko ibyo bintu bafite babikuye ku mana and in they lie that what they have told you they they got it from god so yuda nyuma yo kuvuga ayo magambo ahita avuga none iriranga kamere yabo bana so having said all that then he, he describes what characterizes the nature of these apostates ari nabijo byingenzi twagombaga kuza kubona muri iki cyane muri iki cyane twe cyo uyu munsi so which are the main things we should uh, have gotten in this uh, verse 8 no kuvuga ngo ni ibintu bitatu biranga kamere yabo abantu babaya tahere so there are three things that characterize uh, the nature of these people icya mbere bono ni mibiri yabo the first thing they defile the flesh icya kabiri basuzugura gutegekwa The, the second they reject authority and thirdly they, they blaspheme the glorious ones so we are going to see these three things the first thing is they defile the flesh muri yudu munani aho nubundi turimo turiga on jude verse 8 haravuga ngo uko niko nabarandi babarosi bononi mibiri yabo Yet in like the manner these people also relying on their dreams defile the flesh. Ubundi ko nona defiling the flesh no kwangiza. It is uh, a spoiling cyangwa gukoresha ikintu icyo kitagenerwe or using something different from how it is intended to be used. Cyangwa kwanduza ikintu ubangiye wanduza ikintu gucyono hori. Or you stain something bivuze ko aba bantu bakoresha imibiri yabo ico itagenewe so these people use the their flesh different from how it was created abanduza imibiri yabo so they defile their bodies so imibiri iri miravugwa hangaha the these bodies that are described here no yo mu birufati it is this physical body bitandukanye no mu biriporo avuga mu baroma igice cyakarirwe umurongo wa 2024 it is different from the body that Paul describes in Roman chapter 7 verse 24 Paul o igice cyakarirwe umurongo wa 2024 yaravuga ngo yemwe mbonye ishano ninde wahiza uyu mubiru ntero rupfu Roman chapter 7 verse 24 Paul says chapter 24 says Wretched man that I am who will deliver me from this body of death ahanga Paul we abari maravuga the enduring sin a poor here in, in in Roman is describing the enduring sin in him ntabo abari maravuga uyu mubiru fatika he is not mentioning this uh, physical body ariko hari ya yunda we arimo aravuga uyu mubiri wo ufatika but he in Jude uh, Jude is saying this physical body aba baba ya kahebwe rero these people who are apostates bonona imibiri yabo iyingiye patika they defile their physical bodies bayikoresha iby'imana itayigeneye so they use these bodies differently from how god intended kandi imana yaremye umubiri w'umuntu kugwa kugira ngo uwo mubiri uyihimbaze god created this physical body so it can praise him ntabwo yawuremye kugira ngo ube ari wo gukora ibya it was not created so this person can use it for sin abakuri nkuru ambere igice cya gatandatu umurongo wa 23 Uh, first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 13 
haravuga ngo ibyo kurya ni ibyinda ninda nayo ni ibyo kurya nyamara imana izaritsemba byombi nuko rero umubiri suwo gusambana ahubwo nungu mwami kandi umwami nawe numubi Uh, first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 13 food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food and God will destroy both one and the other the body is not meant for sexual immorality but for the Lord and the Lord for the body uh, Roman chapter 6 verse 12 and 13 haravuga ngo noneho ntimukimike ibyaha mu mibiri yanyu izapfa ngo mwumvire ibyo irarikira kandi ntimuhe ibyaha ingingo zanyu kuba intwaro zo gukiranirwa ahubwo mwitange mwihe imana nk'abazuke n'ingingo zanyu muzihe imana kuba intwaro zo gukiranirwa Roman 6:12 let no let, let let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness but present yourselves to god as those who have been brought from death to life as your as, and your members to god as instruments for righteousness and when you continue in roman chapter 12 umurongo wa mbere haravuga ngo on verse 1 it says no kwere date ndabinjinga kubwa imbabazi z'Imana ngo mutange imibiri yanyu ibe ibitambo bizima byera bishimwa n'Imana ariko kwikorera kwanyu gukwiriye Roman 12:1 I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship Imana yaremye umubiri w'umuntu God created a, a, someone's body kugira ngo uyikorere so that it can serve him ariko umuntu yawuhinduye intwaro zo yo kurwanya imana but uh, a man used this body to rebel, to rebel against god ariko arizera byukuri but the true believers bahamagariwe gusubiza iyo mibiri yabo imana ngo iyikorere true believers are called to take back their bodies to god so they can serve him aba baba yakahebwe rero so these apostates bakomeza gufata imibiri yabo bakayigira intwaro zo gukiranirwa so they use these bodies as an instrument for unrighteousness bayonona they defile them cyangwa bayikoresha ibyo itagenewe they use them differently from the intended purposes cyangwa ibirwanya imana n'amategeko yayo and then they use them for what is rebelling against god and his commands ariko byumwe hari ko muri context ya hanga ha muri yuda turimo turiga but uh, specifically in the context in jude as we are studying nuko imibiri bayikoresha ubusambanye ndetse ne nubutinda ni cyangwa kuryamara kwa bahuje ibitsi na nkuko twagiye tubibona haruguru ku bisodo muri gomora So these people they use this body for sexual immorality and homosexuality as you saw in the uh, previous verses. Ndetse nkuko twanabibonye mu Baroma igice cyambe umurongo wa 22 na gatatu kugira kwa 27 na karindwe havuga ngo icyo nico cyatumye Imana ibareka kurarikira ibyonona ndetse bigeza ubwo abagore babo bakoresha imibiri yabo uburyo bunyuranye nubwo yaremewe kai abagabo kandi nabagabo nuko bareka kugirira abagore ibyo imibiri yabo yaremewe bashushwa no kurarikirana abagabo bagirana nabandi bagabo ibiteye isoni bituma mu mibiri yabo bagarurirwa ingaruka mbi ikwiriye kuyoba kwabo nyine ngo bonone imibiri so people defiling uh, their bodies also uh, Paul uses uh, to describe this in ch- chapter 1 of Romans verse 24 that therefore God gave them up in their last of their hearts to impurity and to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves because they, they they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve the creator rather than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this reason God gave them up to the dishonorable passions for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to, na- to nature and the men likewise gave up their natural relations with women and were consumed with passions for one another men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error nokuvanga icyakabiri none twavuze ko aba bantu kibaranga kiranga kamere yabo the second thing we saw that characterized these apostates ngo basuzugura gutegekwa these people reject the authority yuda ahanga abantu bundi dukomeje wa murongo aravuga ngo uko niko nabarandi babarose bonone imibiri yabo tumaze kubibona abagasuzugura gutegekwa Uh, these people in on verse 8 the bible says uh, yet in like manner uh, the, the like manner these people also rely on their dreams reject authority ubundi kuganduka submission gucha bugufi and uh, 
submission and humble and humility ndetse no kumvira and obey, obedience bishoboka gusa igihe umuntu yavutse ubwa kare only possible because someone is born again kuko ababaga yakahebwe ntago bo ubwarura bishobora ntago nyine byabashobokera kuganda so because if people have become apostates it is not possible for them to to, to submit mbere na mbere twakwibaza ngo basuzugura gutegekwa nabande we can ask ourselves who do they do they reject authority to kuko urumva ni bavuga ngo basuzugura gutegekwa ubundi gutegekwa nabande whose authority are these people rejecting ni bande ubundi bari bakwiriye kwemera bari bakwiriye kwemera ko babategeka so who should these people be submissive to ubundi uye ureje ibyanditswe byera when you read the scriptures mu byukuri hari ubutware bwinshi bugenda buvuga mu byanditswe byera there are different types of authority described in the scriptures reka duhere ku bwambere ariko nka isusuka ari bwo bwambere ahubwo nuko ariko cyase kubikora let me start with one the first one not that is the only first one but that's how the order i'm going to use ubutware bwa bamaraika cyangwa ibiremwa by'umwuka the, the the authority of the angel or spiritual beings abefeso ikice cha mbere umurongo wa 2021 Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21 haravuga ngo uri Kristo ubwo babavuga imushize hejuru y'ubutware bwose n'ubushobozi bwose n'imbaraga zose n'ubwami bwose n'izina ryose rivugwa uretse muri iki gihe gusa ahubwo no mu bihe bizaza verse 21 far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named and not only in this age but also in the one to come abakorosayi 116 corinthians 116 ngo kuko muri we arimo byose byaremewe ari ibiri mu ijuru cyangwa ibiri mu isi ibiboneka nibitaboneka ibintu zo bwami no bwami bwose n'ubutware bwose n'ubushobozi bwose ni we wabiremye byose kandi rero ni nawe byaremewe Uh, Colossians 1:16 For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominion or rulers or authorities all things were created through him and for him Rubanda muri ibi byanditswe byombi ubutware burimo buravuga cyangwa the authority cyangwa rulers naba marayika So the authority mentioned here in these verses we read the angels So hari byanditswe byinshi tutajyamo kuza kureba nyine iyo influence ariko ibyanditswe buhara mu bahebu bayo avuga nyine uburyo Uh, nyine aribo nyine bareba cyangwa barebera abazahabwa gakiza bavuga uburyo abana amategeko y'Imana icumi yahawe mu kiganza nyine cy'abamarayika kugira ngo bayaha abantu n'ibindi ntashaka kujyamo the different uh, authority the angels have including give uh, that god gave them the commandments to give them to the people and different other authority that angels might have ikindi ni ubutware bw'abantu ariko nyine ubwo abayobozi The second authority is the authority of, of people uh, specifically rulers. Petero wa mbere wa ku rwa mbere rwa Petero igice cya kare umurongo wa 13. First uh, first Peter chapter 2 verse 13. Haravuga ngo mugande ukire ubutware bwose bw'abantu kuko umwami wacu naho yaba umwami kuko ari we usumba bose cyangwa abatware kuko ari bo batumwe nawe guhana ikozi z'ibibi no gushima abakora neza. Uh, first Peter chapter 2 verse 13 be subject for the Lord's sake every human institution whether it it, it, it be to the emperor or su- as supreme or to the governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise who do good ahangaha abatware bari kuvugwa n'ubuyobozi bwa leta so the authority mentioned here is the the, the, the institution the government ubutware bwa gatatu Nubutware bw'abayobora itorero ry'Imana cyangwa abakuru b'itorero. So the third authority is the authority of the church elders. Timoteo wa mbere gatano 17. First Corinthians first Timothy chapter 5 verse 17. Haravuga ngo abakuru b'itorero batwara ubangura abatware batwara neza batekerezwe ko bakwiriye guhabwa icyubagiro inshuro ebyiri ariko cyane cyane abarushwa no kuvuga ijambo ry'Imana no kwigisha. Uh, first Timothy chapter 5 verse 17 let elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor especially those who labor in preaching and teaching ahanga haravuga nyine ubutware cyangwa abatware nk'abayobora itorero cyangwa abakuru b'itorero so the authority mentioned here is there elders who have authority in the church nanone ubutware bw'umugabo mu rugo rwe nk'umuyobozi w'uru another authority the authority of the husband over his wife in the home 
even the children. Okay, get one baby. You just have to go to Wagata and look at the Wagata and that. First Peter chapter three, verse five to six. Aravango, Aravore, Aravache, Abin, Giragiman, Nikomi, Indi, Shaga, Abagandu, Chira, Abagaba, Mukosara, Yungiraga, Abraham, Akamita, Umutware, Name, Murabana, Wu, Niva Mukoraneza, Muji, Ukova, Bobahamura. First Peter chapter three, verse five. For this is how the holy men who hoped in God used to adorn themselves by submitting to their own husbands, as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, and you ha you are her children if you do good and do not fear anything that is frightening. So people who are apostates, we are not only mentioning men, also women can be apostates. So apostate women and men, they do not submit to the authority above them. But they want to overthrow the authority and then they want to be the authority themselves. Or like the truth, the hands in the scriptures. Or the Antichrist. Even the devil himself. So when you go back to Jude, what is the authority, is authority mentioned in Jude? So the authority mentioned in Jude is Christ or God himself. Even though even the other authority we mentioned earlier, uh, submitting to them is also submitting to God. So here they are mentioning the authority of Christ. Christ as the Lord. So these people who have become apostates, they despise the authority of Jesus Christ. Because when you read on verse 4, we see it. The Bible says these are ungodly people. And on verse 4 again they say They deny our only Master and Lord Jesus Christ So these people uh, become apostates they, 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 they deny the authority of Jesus Christ Because they disobey the commands of God So the third thing as The characteristic of the apostates we shall see These people they blaspheme the glorious ones Going back to the verse 8 of Jude, Those people also relying on their dreams defile the flesh, we saw it, reject authority, we saw it, and they blaspheme the glorious ones. So this, the, the very wording of this is similar to the one in Second Peter chapter 2 verse 10, it, it, exactly the same. The same thing. Second Peter chapter two verse ten, and especially those who indulge in the last of defiling passions and despise authority. Bold and willful, they do not tremble as they blaspheme the glorious ones. So the, uh, the apostates, all of them, they are 
yaba yuda na petero bose babahurizaho imimerere yabo karimwe so the apostles have the similarities even jude and, and peter they also describe the very same uh, characteristics so mbere na mbere twabanza tukibaza ukugutuka bivuze iki but the first thing you can ask what does this blaspheming mean ubundi ijambo blaspheme nkuko arivuze ni ijambo rivugwa ni ijambo ubundi rihuje inyito na sirandaringi cyangwa guharabika the, the, the blaspheming is have the same uh, characteristic as slandering ariko iyo uvuze blaspheme umuntu yavuze blaspheme aba avuga cyangwa abatuka ibintu cyangwa ikintu cy'umwuka a spiritual thing so but blaspheming is also attributed to blas, uh, to slandering or uh, to the, uh, the the spiritual being ntabwo iyo uharanitse umuntu uba ukoze blaspheme so when you uh, slander someone you are not blaspheming ahubwo uba ukoze slandering you are just slandering ariko iyo uharanitse ibyanditswe byera cyangwa mwuka wera cyangwa imana cyangwa kristo cyangwa ubutumwa bwiza uba ukoze blaspheme when you deny and slander the scriptures christ himself and and salvation then you are you are blaspheming god nta muntu slandering imana nako yindi uvuze na youtube imana nako ukoze slandering ku mana ubu ukoze blaspheme ariko iyo urugwango iyo Oh no no uharabitse umuntu wago ukoze blaspheme ahubwo ukoze slandari so when you insult god you are blaspheming but when you insult someone you are not blaspheming but slandering nubwo byose ari ugutuka cyangwa guharabika even though every, all of them are insulting someone ariko nanone niyo ututse cyangwa ugaharabika abamarayika kuko nabo ari ibiremwa by'umwuka ntabwo ukoze slandari ahubwo ukoze blaspheme when you insult uh, or slander the, the, the angels or spiritual being or god you are not slandering but you are blaspheming tuzabibona tuzabibona aho tuzabona uko marayika ana ngongo akatinyutse gukora blaspheme kuri satani uvuga ngo marayika mayiko ntabwo yakoze blaspheme kuri satani wo satani kumuharabika no gukora blaspheme because uh, we shall see it in where my, uh, my uh, a Michael angel did not blaspheme the devil bivuze ko ibyo baba babaye akaherwe batuka cyangwa baharabika ari ibintu by'umwuka so they are blaspheming the spiritual being ibyo bintu rero by'umwuka bavaje bavuga so the spiritual beings that they have been mentioning nibyo yise abanya abanyacuba iyo so they are, they have named them glorious ones ese aba banyacubahiro ni bande who are these glorious ones mbere na mbere nituze gutakaza iki kintu uburyo bavuga yuko ari abanyacubahiro mu bwinshi no ati umunyacubahiro nk'umuntu umwe na no mucyongereza nabivuga urumba ko biri mu bwinshi we should we shouldn't uh, ignore the fact that they are saying the glorious ones in plural not the glorious one in the singular ubundi iri jambo glorious cyangwa doxas mu muntu uze mu muri greek this glorious odoxas in greek nirya rituhukaho ijambo dukunda kubona muri theology yitwa doxology there come in a, a word doxology that is found in greek akenshi rikoreshwa ahantu havuga icyubahiro cy'Imana cyangwa icyubahiro cy'a Kristo it is always uh, most of the time mentioned where they are mentioning the glory of Christ or the glory of God hari bindi rikoreshwa rivuga icyubahiro cy'ukuri kw'Imana cyangwa the glory the glories of divine truth ariko nanone hari n'igihe iri jambo rikoreshwa rivuga abamarayika ubwabo rikabita the glories sometimes the the bible use this word to describe the the, the, the angels so aha rero abangana bari no bavuga abanyacubahiro n'abamarayika so the glorious ones here mentioned are the uh, angels ariko abo bamarayika bakaba ari bamwe bahuye satani n'abadayimoni so these angels that are there, these are fallen angels the devil and his angels muri mace yuda ari maravuga yuko aba bantu babaye kahebwe batuka satani n'abadayimoni so he's saying that these people who are apostates they, they they blaspheme the devil and the fallen angels ariko bakwibaza ngo gutuka satani n'abadayimoni cyangwa kuhara kubaharabika nibi hari ikibazo subundi kirimo gutuka satani n'abadayimoni You can ask yourself is there any wrong with blaspheming the devil and the fallen angels? Aha gutukwa gutuka birimo biravugwa 
So blaspheming that is mentioned here, no kubasuzugura. It it is this uh, disrespecting them. Ko Ngote ko sida. Ngo ntagaro kubasuzugura byimusane yo kububaha. Aho ko no kubasuzugura byimusane yo 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 yuko boroheje. No no kuvuga ngo gufata ko badahari cyangwa boroheje. So it is despising these people. Cyangwa kubatesha gaciro. Or you devalue them. Cyangwa gutesha gaciro imbaraga zabo. Or you you devalue their their strength. Cyangwa kwifata nkaho batariho. Or you you consider that they don't exist. Cyangwa ufata ko ntacyo bakora cyangwa ntacyo bagukora. And my, you might think that they cannot do anything to you. No kwirengagiza imuzi iryanditswe byera rivuga ngo muri Petero wa mbere umunani kugera ku igenda. Iyo rero wa mbere you ignore the warnings that are mentioned in first peter gatano gatano umunani kugera ku ikenda chapter 5 verse 8 to 9 havuga ngo mwirinde ibisindisha mube maso kuko umurezi wanyu satani azera nk'intare yivuga ashaka uwashonshonera mu murwanye mushikamye kandi mufite kwizera gukomeye muzi yuko bene data bari mwisi muguje mibabaro First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 to 9 Be sober minded be watchful your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour resist him firm in your faith knowing that he, the same kinds of suffering that are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world No kutaga maso ngo wirinde satani It is it is not a, a being sober minded and resist the devil ndetse umurwanye and uh, fight against him ndetse wambare intwaro z'umwuka kuko uwo uwo muhanganye atari inyama namaraso oh you put on the full armor uh, of god because the, the one you are fighting with is not flesh and blood rero ababa yakahebwe bafata satani nkaho ari akantu koroshye so those who are opposed to they take the devil as something that is simple Niyo mambo hari nabanavuga ngo satani turamukandagiye and some of them they are like we we step on you the devil turamunize we 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 are beating you turamutwitse we are ya Yesu we are burning you in the name of Jesus ngo satani turamurijije iyimvura iguye namarira ya satani that we have made the devil cry even this rain that has come is is the the tears of the devil nibindi nibindi kuko batazo bakina na uwari and even other things because they don't know who they are playing with ariko uwizera dukuri but the, the true believer ababizi ko kuruga ari kurugamba he know that he is on the battle kandi ko satani akomeye that the devil is so strong and he has the authority over the the, the air so he knows that the devil is all around him which is why he he think himself as someone who should always have to put on the full armor of god fighting against yinjinga imana ngo ntimuhane mu bimosha ahubwi mukiza umubi ari we satana pleading with god that he does not uh, leave him into temptation but deliver him from the evil kwa kibaza impamvu kristo yavuze ngo nitujya dusenga tujye tuvuga ngo mana nuduhane mu bitwosha ahubwo dukiza umubi noko nire kristo yarabizi nyine uburyo umubi ari umuntu ukomeye kuburyo tutanavuga ngo noneho twebe turamwica turamukanda ahubwo mwami wa mudukiza Uh, this is why Jesus when in his uh, prayer he said uh, when you pray say uh, do not leave us into temptation but deliver us from the evil because he knew the one you are fighting with is also strong niyo mpamvu ibyari cyo byera mu byahishuwe Kristo akunda gukoresha ijambo ngo unesha nzamuha unesha 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 kenshi nuko twi mu rugamba This is why the the Bible says in in Revelation that he who overcomes I will give this he will overcome I will do this because he knows that he requires to overcome this strong devil. Kugira ngo muve yuko ari context reka dusome reka dusome nyine iyi context iri kuvugwa ari satani naba diamond reka dusome umurongo wa 9 no wa 10 murahita mubibona. Uh, so that you can see the the right context let us read verse 8 verse 9 and 10. Nubwo nubwo ngo nubwo aba abantu nyine babandi baba yakahebye bo bakiresa satani naba daimoni ariko gutuka abanyacubahiro even though uh, these people blaspheme the glory and glory and 
glorious ones umurongo wacha ni tuvuka ngo nyamara mikayeli ari we maraika ukomeye ubwo yatonganaga na satani agira impakana we intumbi ya Mose ntiyahangaye kumucira urubanza amuvuma ahubwo aramubwiye ati umwami imani guhane on verse 9 they say but when the angel Michael containing with the devil was disputing about the body of Moses he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment but said the lord rebuke you a blasphemous judgment ubwo ntabwo na maraye kukobe yatinyutse kugira a blasphemous judgment kuri kuri satani even the the the, the, the archangel Michael did not blaspheme the the the, the devil ahubwo yarirarinze kumana imuruta yo nyine iri hejuru nyine yawe hamaraye karavuga ati umwami imana nyina guhande but but he, he, but he, 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 plead, he pleaded to the authority of god for him to do it ariko none aho murongo wa 10 uburyo yitakomereza aho itubibona yuko ari bwo buryo ari narabihuza but when he continue verse 10 where he want to reconcile these things nyuma yuko mariko maraika atigeze atinyuka ku unyine kuguhangara na ntuze na satani mu rugo buryo ahita akomeza icuma akavuga ngari ko babantu batuka ibyo batazi ndetse nibyo bazi babwirijwe na kamere yabo barabyiyo nonesha kinyamaso zitagira ubwe so continuing to say on this jude says but these people plus him all that they do not understand and that and they are destroyed by all that they like like unreasoning animals understanding instinctively so what characterizes these uh, the nature of these uh, apostates so they defile their bodies by sexual immorality and homosexuality the second they, they they despise authority and they do not submit to Christ as the Lord and the one who who gives commandments ariko nanone ni ugutuka abanyacubahiro aho kwirinda satani no kurwana ahubwo batekereza ko atanabaho cyangwa ntacyo yabakoraho and thirdly they despise the, they, they blaspheme the glorious one by thinking that the devil does not exist and then they 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 think that they has no value so they they live as if they're not in the battle so people they are sinful they they, they are depraved because they know they are, they are not on the battle so this is what we have been saying today so zarero so as i wind up nabwira abizera ko niba twarizeye ko so i can tell believers that if you have truly believed dukwiriye kumva yuko imibiri yacu ari ingingo za Kristo we should uh, think that our bodies are the bodies of Christ dukwiriye gukorera imana ukishaka we should uh, use them to serve god the way he, he, he wills ndetse dukwiriye kumva ko Kristo ari umwami wacu n'umutanga amategeko we should understand that Christ is our lord and the one who comes and that's what to do tukamwumvira tukamwubaha ndetse tukubaha nubundi butware bwose yadushize yadushizemo mu gihe tukiri muri yise obeying him and also submitting the authority he has put us under it ikindi dukwiriye guhora twirinda we should also another thing should also always be careful ndetse dushikanye understanding farm twambaye intwaro zose z'umwuka kuko umubi ari we satani ari umurezi wacu giye cyose ahora turega imbere y'impere y'Imana ndetse yirirwa yitotomba nk'intare ashaka uwaconshomera also trying to put in, to put on the full armor of god against the devil who is trying to 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 to, to, to roll like a lion so for those who are unbelievers in our, in our cell, in, among the stars so for your body to be uh, uh, the the the, the, the the an organ that is used uh, that is living for Christ ndetse kugira ngo akure umwami n'umutanga amategeko ku buryo umwumvira so for Christ to be your lord and he becomes the one who gives you what to do commanding you ndetse kugira ngo ushobore guhagarara ushikamye imbere y'ubushukanyi bwa satani so for you to stand against the deceit of the devil nuko Kristo akure umukiza is that Christ becomes your savior nuko uhindukira ukamwizera 
that you turn from your sins and trust him ukizera amaraso yakubereye ku musaraba igorogota that you trust and believe his blood that he shed upon you on the cross ukabarirwa ibyaha byawe byose ugahabwa ubugingo buhora then you will be forgiven your sins and then receive eternal life bitavuye kuri wowe not from yourself bitavuye kubyo uhere bindi wizera not from what else you believe kumirimo yawe or from your works kukurambe kwa hili ganza na bakuru cyangwa re kujya mu masengesha hano runaka no kwibabaza or from different uh, acts of righteousness and even prayers ahubwo uwiherewe ubuntu gusa but receiving it as a gift of god kuko kwizera Yesu Kristo gusa through faith in Jesus Christ uyu munsi uretse kureka ibyo ngibyo wiringiye and not only uh, getting away from what you you trust ukiringira Kristo gusa nicyo we wenyine yakoze but and trusting in, in what Christ what Christ is and what he has done on the cross wabararirwa wabararirwa ibyaha byawe ukaba umwana w'Imana ugahabwa ubugingo buhoraho putting your trust in Christ alone can make you be forgiven of your sins receiving eternal life no no ugatangira kuba igikoresho cy'Imana yishimira ukoresha imibiri umubiri wawe n'ingingo zawe mu guhimbaza Imana ndetse wubaha Imana kumutanga amategeko ndetse unubaha nubundi butware Imana yagushyizeho uci muri yisi kandi wirinda wambaye intwaro z'umwuka zose wirinda satani utazi ko nyina aratana mukina nako then you will be uh, you will be Christ's son and then you you, you use your body for honorable uses you, you you resist the devil and and put on the full armor of god and then you submit the authority that christ has given let us pray uiteka mana yacu abicubahiro yuko uduhaye ijambo ryawe niwe wenyine duciye bugufi imbere yawe kugira ngo kugwe ubuntu bwawe ukore uri koreshe kuko uko wabigenye twebwe turi bande bukuvuga ngo urugura ariko yeshutya rikicyushaka n'icyushima kibari cyo kibaho mu izina rya Yesu Kristo amen